Welcome to making Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio sound professional with a crisp clean sound. Wanna have your vocals go from this? To this. Show me that you're sorry. Tell me what you did to me. Show me that you're sorry. Tell me all those lies you mean. Show me that you're sorry. Tell me what you did to me. Show me that you're sorry. Tell me all those lies you mean. When starting a new project on Mixcraft make sure to have the master track selected for all your projects and future projects. Click the effects tab on the master track tab on the bottom. Go through the effects and select classic master limiter and select master CD in the presets that Mixcraft has given you. Now let's move on to the proper effects to make your vocals sound crisp and clear no matter the mic you have. The order you have your effects in does matter, the effects can affect the way your audio track sounds. So if you want you can write these down and so you won't lose them. Acoustica EQ Classic EQ Acoustica Compressor Classic Compressor Acoustica Delay Acoustica Reverb Classic Master Limiter Isotope Mastering Essentials You can save these custom settings by hitting the floppy disk icon so you don't have to do this every time you want to do a project. Once you get all the effects set up, hit the little floppy disk icon to save the list to whatever you want it to be. So to find the proper auto-tune settings for your project, well go to the sound tab below. Next to the Editor tab you will see a tab called Melodyne. 
Press the Melodyne tab, then hit Snap to whatever key is displayed next to Snap to. Once you hit Snap to box hit OK and close out of Melodyne. Remember to put it back on editor so when you're loading in a project that isn't complete it won't cause Mixcraft to load the project slowly. Now go back to your effects on your recorded track and then go to your auto-tune and change the key and scale to what Melodyne said your track was. Now remember that if you're recording multiple tracks it's a good idea to go and check the Melodyne setting. Now let's say you're done recording your project. Well you're not done yet. Go down to the Mixer tab next to the Sound tab. You will have to play with each track's equalizer besides your instrumental track. Your main vocals should have the highs plus 12 dB. Don't add mids and don't touch the lows. Now for your secondary track it's a good idea to turn your highs to plus 12 dB and then turn the mids up to plus 2 dB to plus 4 dB. This adds a little difference between the tracks and gives the track a different sound. When I record a track I either do what I just described or I do three takes of my vocal tracks. Then I will turn my highs to plus 12 dB on all my recorded tracks. Then on the secondary audio track I will turn my mids up to plus 2 dB and then on my third recorded track I will turn my mids up to plus 4 dB. Again leave the lows alone. They don't do much at all. Then I will go to the sliders on my recorded audio track and keep the first slider on center. Then on my second recorded audio track I will turn the slider all the way to the left to 100%. Then on my third recorded audio track I will move the slider to the right to 100%. Remember that since there is three recorded audio tracks it will be loud so remember to adjust the vocal volume till it sounds right with the instrumental. This will make your project sound extremely full and complete. So you're finally done with your project and it's time to mix it down. Go to File and Mix Down. Remember to always mix down in WAV format. WAV is a lossless file and the project will sound extremely well. There is an alternate way to mix down your tracks hit the little icon next to the floppy disk and that will also mix down your recorded project. Just remember to mix it down in WAV format. That should be it. I hope this helps with Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio.